Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to connect to an EC2 instance using different methods. All right. So let me go to my AWS console. If you see my console and under instances, if you see, I have one EC2 instance, which is already running, right? So the name of the virtual machine or instances is my EC2 instance that we created in the previous video. All right. So if, if I check that box and if I come down, you will be able to see all those different attributes that are associated with this EC2 instance. If you see, this is the instance ID. This is the public IP address. This is a private IP address. This is the public DNS. The instance state is running, right? So each and everything you can see here in this section. And if you see the platform details, it is Linux or Unix. Before connecting to this one, make sure that you have allowed SSH port that is port 22 on your inbound port of the security group. So if you see to check that come to security under that you have security groups open that in the new tab. If you see this is the security group and if you under inbound rules you can see I have allowed all the source basically 0.0.0.0/0 means every every IP address that is present on this earth right so I am allowing all the port I mean uh, all the IP addresses on the port 22 right so basically this is SHS SSH port secure shell port so for Linux machines you use this port to connect to the instance okay so the first method that is uh, available for us is to connect via ec2 instance method okay so let me go to ec2 con instance connect here if I, i'll go back a step back so if you see this is my ec2 instance and you have a button here called connect click on that there are many options you have go with the first one ec2 instance connect basically you will be able to connect to this machine via web console itself all right so after after you see this one, the public IP address is this and the username is EC2 user. All right. So if you click on connect, you will be able to connect to this machine in the web page itself. If you see, it says establishing connection. It takes a couple of minutes. Yeah. If you see now, we are able to get inside that EC2 instance. We basically logged in using one method called EC2 instance connect. Now, if I want to check host name, see, this is the IP address, private IP address. You can verify here 172.31.17.84, 172.31.17.84, right? So who am I? I'm an EC2 user. All right so this is one method all right so let us exit from this all right so let me close that there is also one more method called session manager right now i have not enabled that one i will be demoing it in the later part all right so other thing is ssh client method so basically you can you are able to connect to this ec2 instance using this command ssh command okay so they are pre-filling uh, giving you the command you just copy this command and paste it inside your command prompt okay so open a command prompt and provide this command if you run it will say permanently added so I'm waiting for it to get inside see I was able to log into this one but before move before going with this option please make sure that the wherever the key that you have you be in that particular directory 
for example i have stored my key pair in this folder called key pairs so you need to run this command inside that folder itself right so if you see this is the uh, uh, key pair that i am using cw test.pem this is the key pair that is present in key pairs directory so before uh, running this command make sure that you are in this particular directory itself wherever the key is present please make sure you be in that particular folder all right so this is another method okay so i let me exit out of this right connection is closed now so there is another method that we follow so let me go back to my ec2 instance so if you see we have a public ip address right so let me copy that public ip address so there is one more method by using putty so there is an application called putty you can install that if you want i will drop the link in the description to download that application so using that application you can also log into your ec2 instance okay so how to do it let me explain now so search for putty so you you will get an icon like this i mean the prompt like this okay here under host name you need to provide the ip address of your public ip address of your ec2 instance okay so i provided that next expand this ssh icon okay under auth click on auth you need to provide your private key right so wherever you are uh, storing that private key you need to go to that location so if you click on browse here it will take you to that location and i have stored it here in the desktop here in key pairs so this is the key pair that i am using i am going to select that and click on open now click on open accept it you are logging in as ec2 user by default all the username for ec2 instances is ec2 user i gave that ec2 user now i should be able to log into this machine using putty also okay see i was able to log in right if you see this icon ec2 written that means you are successfully logged in if you want you can verify who am i see ec2 user so these are the different ways in uh, for particularly for windows using which you can log into your ec2 instances right so that is it for today so i hope you liked it if you did like it please consider subscribing like like this video subscribe to the channel and share it among your friends who are preparing for aws right so that's it for this video thank you